Hi, Angela Ackerman, Independent Sensi Consultant. Today I just wanted to talk about uh, the things I've been warming and go through the empties that I've used through the month of June. So uh, let's get started with that. So I have a, this is actually an old bar of Summer Soleil. Um, I, it was, it, it wasn't, um, it was in kind of bad condition, <laughs> but what I used it for was I actually melted it and used it for some samples because even though this bar is discontinued, there's other scents out there that are very similar to this. Now this was one that, um, I got a really long time ago. I'm not a huge floral fan, uh, but that's what this smells like. I mean, it's floral. I don't even know the notes of it, but, um, it's a mild floral, so, but I, so I sent some of those out for samples. Then uh, in my son's room, uh, I have a mini or wall dif a wall diffuser, and he really liked the mandarin and mango nectar. So we put a couple of pods in there for him. So we went through that, and this this is out of the summer collection. And I believe there's still some stuff available in the summer collection, which surprises me because all of these items were so good. Um, then I have Johnny Appleseed. This is another one that I made some um, some samples with with my hero. So I did a mixology basically and um, I made some samples up of these two and the two of them mixed together smell so good. My Hero is definitely a man musky scent and musk scents again are not always my favorite either but when you mix it with apple it's really good. Then next we have the scent of the month for the month of July, Stargazing. Again, I use this one to make up samples. And, uh, you know, this one is, it's really floral and woodsy. It, you know, either people really liked it or they did not. And I'm one of the, I did not. <laughs> this definitely is not a scent that will be on my list. Doesn't need to go in my, um, my Scentsy Club, that's for sure. I also melted in a bar of Blue Agave and Melon. This is another one of those summer scents that was just so great. The only, I would say the only problem with this is it's, um, it doesn't seem like it lasts very long and it's kind of a mild scent. So, so although it smells really good, um, it, it doesn't last very long, especially because I only have a couple of places that I can have a warmer in my house. My house is kind of small, and I don't have the plug outlets in the places where I would like to have some. <laughs> um, and so I only really have two warmers in my house. So I have one in my living room, uh, which has really tall vaulted ceilings, and then I have one in my kitchen. Now, the one in the living room, I've noticed that these milder scents, I mean, they do really well at first, and then within probably, I don't, I don't know if I could even give it 24 hours, they are, like, I can't smell them. I can, I can smell them still in my kitchen, uh, but not, not in my living room. And so I'm, I'm trying to find that balance of some stronger scents that I like that can fill that room and um, actually last a while, which one of those is coming up. Uh, I also did some vanilla bean uh, buttercream. This scent, I was surprised by this scent. I, I don't, you know, I didn't think that I liked bakery scents. Um, and I still think that there's some that are probably too strong for me or too sweet. But this one, you know, I was making, um, I was doing up some samples for my, my mystery boxes for June and I used this and my house just smelled like cake, like 
like you, you could just come in and it smelled like we were making cake in the house it smelled so good I really really like this one and then I've seen a lot that you can mix this with a lot of other scents um, so I'm gonna be trying that as well in the future Oh, so another bar of vanilla bean buttercream <laughs> and then finally this is the one this is what I have Amazon rain this is what I have going in my house right now and it smells so good and it's and it seems to be it's lasting pretty well in my house it's listed under a fresh scent which I'm a little surprised because it smells it's got like a melony fruit melony it's got like melon fruit to it or melon scent to it and it's just I don't know this 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 is probably in my top five right now uh, I really like this Amazon rain and I like that it's lasting it's it's actually lasting in my living room uh, which again like I just said before you know a lot of scents have not been doing that okay and then the final products that I have that I used for this month that I'm out of <clears throat> are um, the body uh, the body cream and then the body wash now uh, those are products that oh and it was in the the watermelon tangerine scent that smelled really good I did I did enjoy that uh, I'm looking forward to trying some more just in different scents and I definitely need to order some more body wash um, my husband has been using the perfect gentleman and he is really liking that so I'm probably gonna have to order some of those as well so that's what I've been warming and using uh, the last well I feel like a loser that it's over the last month and part of it was for samples but I you know I, I just don't have enough warmers in my house at this point in time not that I don't want them it's just that I don't have the room for them right now so hopefully next month I'll have uh, some more empties to show you and uh, I'm interested to see what you're warming and what you know what is your favorite mix because that's that's one of the things I'm um, on my VIP page is I'm doing mixology Mondays and so I'm just I would I am curious to see what different mixes you're doing and um, how you're liking them one of the other mixes I did that I really like was uh, watermelon patch and lemon sorbet it's oh my gosh it's so refreshing it's like watermelon lemonade it smelled so good so that's you know so I'm looking for different mixologies that you're doing um, yeah so let me know comment below so like comment and subscribe thank you and have a good day